Hello everyone and welcome to our workshop on human-centred design. Before we begin, we would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which this video is recorded and on which you are all gathered today, and pay our respects to Elders past, present and future. The purpose of this workshop is to build NGOs' capability to deliver better client outcomes. We will do this by providing you with practical tools on how you can embed human-centred approaches into the design and delivery of your programs and services. This workshop was commissioned by the Department of Finance, Services and Innovation, New South Wales. My name is Isabella Wallington and I'm the head of FutureGov Australia and I'll be presenting this session. I'm an anthropologist by degree and following my studies worked across federal government agencies in Australia, predominantly in service delivery reform and leading national programs in Indigenous strategy, health and welfare. From there I moved to FutureGov, where I take my background in ethnographic research and experience in understanding of the government environment to work with public services of all types and sizes to improve service delivery through digital transformation and user-centred design. This is what we will be going through in today's session. In the first part of the workshop, we will look at how to stay relevant to users in the 21st century, why practicing human-centered design improves outcomes, and I'll be presenting some theory on design thinking and human-centered design processes and research. Then we'll use some human-centered design tools in some guided activities. This will include using tools to understand users, defining problem spaces within context, looking at why prototypes are so important for testing ideas early, and understanding the different types of prototypes that you can use. Lastly, we will also share with you some other tools that you can use to help test your solutions. Before we continue, there will be a hands-on section of the workshop. For all of you participating in the activities, you will need to print out these worksheets from the toolkit. You should print, preferably on A3, a copy of each one for every person participating. You'll also need some post-its and markers. You can now pause this video to make sure you have all of the things you need. Let's look at the objectives for today. No doubt many of you are naturally client-centric in your everyday work, given the types of roles that you have and the organisations that you work for. Our workshop takes that knowledge and practice into consideration and aims to build on it by sharing with you the benefits of doing human-centred design in a systematic manner. This systematic approach will help to support capability development, as covered by the New South Wales Government's NGO benchmarking model. It would also help you seek other support and funding from government departments. We believe this human-centred process will increase the success of your service delivery and improve outcomes for your clients. To give you some background on what we do, FutureGov is an organisation that focuses on designing public services to be effective and efficient in the digital age. We focus on working with the government, local, state and federal, and NGO sectors, mainly in Australia and the UK, to improve public services for citizens. We have more than 10 years of experience in taking human-centred approaches to the design of services, business challenges and cultural contexts. We are made up of people with a wide range of skills and experience in design, policy and digital from both private and public sectors. We have one purpose, to help public services deliver better life outcomes to citizens and to make positive impacts. Many of you here would have seen and experienced the significant impact that 21st century services and technology have had on our lives. These are all services that you would be familiar with, whether you've used them or not. We are definitely not saying that NGOs and government services need to mirror these, but there are some lessons that we can learn from their success. Amazon is more than a store selling things. It sells convenience and variety with a click. Endless waiting time for taxis has been replaced by services on demand through Uber. 
Most importantly, these services have a high client engagement level and efficient business models. These services are flexible, they are personalised and responsive. They not only meet people's needs, they provide a seamless experience. In the NGO sector, we need to be flexible so that people can easily reach out for help anywhere and anytime. We need to feel personalised so that they feel welcomed and understood. And we need to be responsive so that they can trust and feel supported. From our experience, it is even more essential for public services and NGOs to adopt this approach in order to effectively help those who are often the more vulnerable members of our community and who may be dependent on free interventions for support and to achieve better life outcomes. As you may know, the New South Wales Government is transitioning towards an outcomes-based contracting model. This means the Government wants you to focus on delivering and measuring outcomes and to demonstrate your organisation's capabilities towards continuous improvement in effective service delivery for your clients. We know organisations that deliver human services are client-centric by nature. The point of this workshop is to provide you with the right tools to capture and document information to be used as evidence for grants and to support applications. The human-centred approach allows NGOs to continuously improve, adapt to changing needs so that you can be as effective as possible into the future through your solutions in helping people. It is an opportunity to influence the higher system, including government, as it helps them to assess the needs of NGOs and the communities over time. On the next slide, we will show you a good example of how human-centred design approaches contributed to measuring positive outcomes. This is Casserole Club. It is a meal-sharing service developed by FutureGov. We started off interviewing potential cooks to understand their motivations and goals, and speaking with diners to discover their pain points and needs. We also co-designed with potential cooks and diners to come up with solutions to address concerns like food and safety issues. The outcome of this work includes improved social inclusion and reducing malnutrition among the elderly, as well as saving councils from large investment in providing Meals on Wheels services. In our next video, you will learn about the secrets behind good products and services.